Stay far from this creature of God. Pray together now. Prayer is your weapon. For it is he who commands you. He, he who flung you headlong from the heights of heaven into the depths of hell. Digo. <sighs> Now that we are in the spooky season, it only seems fitting that we talk about an upcoming film, Pray for the Devil, a film that revolves around a Roman church who combats a rise in demonic possessions. And if that wasn't scary enough, according to real-life Vatican reports, demonic possessions are on the rise. Um. Why close my eyes when I No. Keep looking at them. The film is inspired by these actual exorcism cases and the schools established by the church to fight this evil. So we thought it'd be interesting to go through some of the behind the scenes of making this film. Scheduled for release in theaters on October 28th, let's go ahead and take a closer look of how they created this film. She's not as scary as she looks. She can hear you. You're my favorite person here. In the first official trailer, released in July 2022, Pray for the Devil comes across as an exorcism story at its core. However, it's not like those classic tales like The Exorcist or The Exorcism of Emily Rose. Instead, Pray for the Devil does not focus on the demonic possession or a single victim, but on numerous people getting possessed by a demonic force. Was there a victory? Something happened in there. The trailer introduces you to the team of priests and one nun at the St. Michael Archangel School of Exorcism, who are preparing to fight off the demon that is jumping from one body to another. The clip also includes key characters like Sister Anne, Father Quinn, and Father Dante. From the trailer, we also learn how Sister Anne is the main target of the demon. The production for Pray for the Devil took place in Sofia, Bulgaria in the summer of 2020. Typically, you would expect stories like these, especially about exorcism, to be set in an earlier time period, but Pray for the Devil doesn't follow that trend. Despite no mention of any particular timeline, it's clear from the trailer that the story is more or less set in the modern day. We get glimpses as to how certain scenes were shot, including the priest looking like they are pulled from under the bed and falling back. Two, one, action. A lot of wire work involved as how many people are tossed around by supposed spirits in certain effects. No! Pray for the Devil, as is clear from the trailer, is primarily about exorcism, but it's also about one young nun's journey into her past. Since she was a child, Anne has been hounded by the spirit, which now moves from body to body, trying to finally reach Anne and make her let it in. Anne recognizes the spirit as the same one that consumed her mother. Her faith in the divine is the only thing that has protected her all along.
The director, Daniel Stamm, sat down with for an interview and was asked, This is the first time audiences will witness a possession account told from the perspective of a female exorcist. What aspect of her story did you find most compelling? What do you hope viewers are left thinking about as they leave the theater? To which he responded, What I'm always searching for first when reading a new script are the points of conflict the story is built on. Okay, panel to the right. Three, two, one, action! Conflict is the fuel of all drama, all suspense, all tension to keep an audience's interest over the length of a feature film. You need an incredible amount of fuel to burn. A story about a male exorcist has one point of conflict, church versus demon. But a female exorcist needs to fight the demon and the church to whose doctrine she poses a much bigger threat than the devil himself does. Sir, doctor, are you denying that there are legitimate cases of possession? But real quick, make sure you guys check out our Instagram page linked down in the description. There's a ton of interview moments and memes, so make sure you check it out and give us a follow. We can see from the classroom set that this is set in current times. Mostly, they were many of them were just people suffering from psychotic, mood neurotic, or personality disorder. And it's honestly really interesting to see behind the camera of any movie really, but definitely this genre of film because we get to have a different feel for what it's like behind the camera. We also get a peek at the makeup artist's work. The acting abilities that this cast has is also incredible with Jack Byers, Christian Navarro, who is known for his role in 13 Reasons Why, Colin Selman, and Nicholas Ralph. We also wanted to give a shout out to our Marvel Monday winner. If you guys didn't know, we ask a challenging Marvel related trivia question over on our community tab. You answer it correctly, you get a chance to have your answer featured here in one of our videos. Shout your mighty hand, Lord, and cast this demon out of your servant. Now, we cast you out, unclean spirit, in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. All too often in horror movies specifically themed around exorcism, the female characters in the film either fall to the sidelines or they're the person being possessed. Outside of Vera Farmiga's Lauren Warren, Warren in The Conjuring films, women are rarely the ones performing an exorcism in a horror movie. Two cameras, one thing. <laughs> <laughs> and while that's not to say that women don't hold an impressive amount of power in the horror genre, it simply goes to set Pray for the Devil apart from the predecessors. One, action! <laughs> Thank you.
There's also apparently a scene where, where what looks to be a dummy wrapped in a green screen suit for it to be edited later with a couple of the actors pulling something out of the mouth. It's pretty interesting to see the before vision of these kinds of scenes. Separated at the top, begin the hair. And you go back. Back. So what do you guys think about all this? Are you interested in seeing this film or is horror even in your viewing options? Let us know what your thoughts are in the comments down below. Make sure you subscribe with notifications on for more videos just like this. That's it for today though. We'll see you all next time with a brand new video. Darkness, we're everlasting ruin of our children. In the name of our Lord Jesus Christ, I cast you out.